And the rain, uh, in fact, in the national capital has brought down the PM 2.5 levels drastically. If we take into account the kind of levels we're seeing this morning from various parts of the national capital, we can see that uh, the pollution count of PM 2.5 levels are down to about 34, 44, even 54. Uh, that's the range that we are seeing from over 500 points in the last 24 hours. So if we just compare it from what it was uh, at about 9 o'clock in the morning yesterday to about 9 o'clock in the morning uh, today, there's been a drastic drop in the PM 2.5 levels. So uh, this is uh, just what was needed as far as the rain situation is concerned. It's brought down the pollution levels drastically uh, thanks to the intervening night of Thursday and Friday which has brought in that much needed respite. Uh, we, we have seen seven consecutive days of severe pollution levels in the national capital. One is breathing easier this morning. This comes on the heels of the Supreme Court taking up other measures which have been suggested in order to tackle the pollution problem, which includes the or even formula. Do remember the Supreme Court had earlier said there was a mere uh, optics. It hasn't worked in the past. That is what experts have gone on to say. Uh, this is the first time it's going to be implemented since 2019, but the fourth time in the national capital if plans go ahead. The other solution, of course, is artificial rain, which is expected uh, on the 20th and 21st if, again, the approvals uh, uh, are, in fact, uh, met uh, by the various departments and, of course, uh, that uh, huge uh, uh, you know, that funding that uh, needed to uh, come through and this is when the Delhi government, uh, Arvind Kejriwal, has gone in ahead and said that they will fund that trial of the artificial rainfall that they are uh, suggesting uh, during that uh, period of the 20th and the 21st. The Supreme Court has also urged people not to burst any crackers. So artificial rain is quite a solution which uh, Gopal Rai has gone on to suggest. Let's just listen into more solutions that the Environment Minister is bringing up. जो एक यूआई पहुंचा हुआ था उसमें सुधार दिख रहा है और हमें उम्मीद है कि इसमें और सुधार होगा इसके अलावा सर जो आर्टिफिशियल रेन कराने की बात की जा रही थी क्या अभी भी सर आप लोग सोच रहे हैं क्या इसकी जरूरत पड़ेगी देखिए आर्टिफिशियल रेन के लिए जो है हमने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने इसको लगाया है क्योंकि अभी जो रात में बारिश हुई है और उसका कितने दिन असर रहेगा अभी ये देखने वाला होगा तो अगर इसका असर कम होता है तो फिर अगले चरण की हमें जरूरत पड़ेगी इसके अलावा सर सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जो सुनवाई होनी है पॉल्यूशन को लेकर आर्टिफिशियल रेन के अलावा कुछ और भी प्रपोजल आप लोग रखने वाले हैं नहीं उसमें हमने दो रखा है एक तो ऑड इवेंट को लेकर के पिछली सुनवाई में माननीय सर्वोच्च न्यायालय ने कुछ ऑब्जर्वेशन दिए थे कि उसकी स्टडी क्या है इम्पैक्ट क्या है तो आज हम सर्वोच्च न्यायालय में ऑड इवेंट को लेकर के जो स्टडीज की गई हैं वो ऑड इवेंट उसको समक्ष रख रहे हैं कि उससे क्या क्या फायदे होते हैं और उसको करने से किस तरह से प्रदूषण के स्तर में जो है सुधार होता है किस तरह से जो है कंजेसन कम होता है किस तरह से राइडरशिप पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट पर बढ़ती है तो ये जो जितनी स्टडीज हैं वो स्टडीज आज हम सुप्रीम कोर्ट के समक्ष रखेंगे क्या अभी भी लगता है सर ऑडिवेंट की जरूरत पड़ेगी अभी जिस तरह से मौसम साफ हुआ है मतलब देखिए बारिश की वजह से अभी मतलब वही मैंने कहा कि इसका कितने देर तक इम्पैक्ट रहता है तो अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो ऑडिवेंट की तरफ बढ़ेंगे we have uh, Mahesh Palawat of SkyMed joining us to get us some more on this. Uh, Mahesh, uh, take us through uh, the kind of relief that we've seen in the last uh, uh, 12 hours or so. How long will this last? How long will it continue to rain in the national capital? It was expected because uh, western disturbance is moving across western Himalayas and uh, usually it induces a, a cyclonic circulation over northwest Pakistan which gives uh, rain over Punjab, Haryana, parts of Delhi and parts of Rajasthan as well as western parts of Uttar Pradesh. So it has happened and now we anticipate that yes, uh, one or short spell of rain may continue over parts of Delhi and Sia, uh, parts of Haryana and western Uttar Pradesh for another two to three hours. Thereafter, weather will start clearing up. It has uh, rained widespread. Uh, widespread rain was witnessed over many parts of northwest India, including parts of Rajasthan. That's why the pollutants had washed away, but now they may accumulate, but uh, the good uh, sign is that now northwesterly moderate winds will commence from tomorrow and they will continue until 40.
say uh, for three to four days uh, from tomorrow the western disturbance when western disturbance moves away eastward the northern uh, northerly flow of uh, northwest wind that is uh, uh, with the moderate wind speed say 15 to 20 km per hour may continue for next two to three days the pollutants of uh, Deepavali will also get dispersed so uh, Delhi can eat, uh, uh, breathe easy for another two, three to four days otherwise uh, we expect that moderate winds will continue from a particular direction for a prolonged period which will not allow the pollutants to accumulate so we can breathe easy for at least two to three days uh, until 14th of at least uh, 14th of November.